It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to learn five simple steps to divide fractions. Here's our question today. We're asked to consider this expression, 5 6 divided by 2 thirds, and we're asked what is the quotient of this expression? So here's an opportunity for you to pause the video here and do your best work, or if you're unsure and you're here to learn how to divide fractions, hang tight and we're going to learn how to do this. Here we go. We have an expression where we're dividing two fractions and we want to know the solution. We're asked to find the quotient, which is that solution. It's the answer to a division problem. So when you divide, the answer that you get is referred to as the quotient. Now let's move on and consider that we are dividing fractions, two fractions being divided. So let's talk about five steps to divide fractions. We're going to break this down. Here we go. Step one, write the first fraction, keeping it the same. Step two, change the division sign to a multiplication sign. Step three, flip the second fraction, writing the reciprocal. So that action of flipping is writing the reciprocal. And then step four, multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. And step five, if necessary, simplify. So let's go to the next step. Now I've made this organizer for you. I'll also attach a way to purchase this if you want to purchase it. So we're going to use this graphic organizer to set up how to solve this with full success every single time. So the first thing we're going to do is in this box right here, we're going to write our problem. So we were asked to divide 5 6 divided by 2 thirds. That's our expression that we're going to simplify. So the first step we're going to do is write the first fraction, keeping it the same. So here's the first fraction. So we're going to write that in our workspace, doing nothing, keeping it the same. Step two, we're going to bring down what we already had from step one. We're asked to change the division sign to a multiplication sign. So here's our division sign, and we're going to write that as a multiplication sign for step two. Step three says we're going to flip the second fraction, and by doing this, we're writing the reciprocal. So you can see that in step three, I've brought down what I had in step two. Now let's go to the second fraction, which is two thirds, and we're going to make the write the reciprocal, which means we're going to flip the numerator and denominator. So flipping it makes it three over two, and we've written that down. Now we're ready for step four. Step four says we're going to multiply the numerators. So the numerators, five times three, which is 15, then multiply the denominators. The denominators are six and two. Six times two is 12. So 15 twelfths. Step five, if necessary, we're going to simplify. So if I look at the numerator and denominator, whatever I do to one, I must do to the other. They're both divisible by three. 15 divided by three is five. 12 divided by three is four. So the quotient to this e expression is five fourths. So let's bring that back to our original problem. And we're gonna erase our question mark and put in our solution. Our quotient is five fourths. So let's put that in our answer box. Also understanding five fourths could also be written as one and one fourth. Four goes into five once with one left over. So one and one fourth. Four times one is four plus one is five fourths. All right, and that's how we divide fractions in five simple steps. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon for more practice and have a great day.